cheerful illuminations like the ones you can see behind me are a feature of the city. You can find them all over the place, as well as lots of people who enjoy walking around and looking at the lights. Kazakhstan is now home to many religious groups who all celebrate their own holidays, with Orthodox Christmas being held on the 7th of January. The celebration that unites all people is New Year. This is the time of year when traditionally everybody gives each other presents, and Kazakhstan is no exception. The kind of presents that people give each other fall into three main groups. The first group is toys and decoration. Things for the party. And of course, what would New Year be without a Christmas tree? The cities of Kazakhstan are teeming with retail outlets with markets, bazaars, high street shops and large shopping malls like this one, catering for every whim and fancy that needs to be fulfilled at this time of year. New Year has arrived. This is the time of the year when we always make resolutions. What's yours? We've all got lots of resolutions to make. I'm going to ask a few people what theirs are when we come here a little bit later on to do an interview. This is the place for a new beginning, new dreams. It's a place of pantomimes. It's a place of where the stage is full of all kinds of people. Let's have a Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Continuing on our theme of New Year, today I want to have a look at food. And to do that, I've come to the kitchen of a friend of mine and a colleague, Adele, who runs her own television programme called Vkusnatina. And we make Silyogi Now, Silyogi is herring, I know that, yes? Yes. But shubi, under a fur coat? Yes. So tell me about that, what kind of fur coat do we put on the herring? Well, now, now is the meaning just because we took a fish mm -hmm. and put it under the coat, mm -hmm. like under the fur coat, yes. Right, okay. Herring. herring, salted herring is very yes. popular in Russia, yes. isn't it? Yes. yes, and it was like a symbol of uh, proletariat. Mm -hmm. The symbol of the pro proletariat, yes? Yes, right, proletariat. Okay. Um, so only... proletarian fish. <laughs> <laughs> you slice proletarian fish. <laughs> the next layer. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was a, a beetroot. Beetroot. Mm -hmm. It was a beetroot. Beetroot, beautiful, lovely colour, isn't it? It's perfect. Yes, its colour was Fantastic. bloody red. Like yeah. a symbol of uh, red flag of uh -huh. Bolsheviks. Right. <laughs> Bolshevik beetroot. So this is the first layer, always the first layer with this dish is the, is the salted herring, we put that in first. It's incredible, look at this vivid colour, this kind of pinky, purpley mess of mayonnaise and beetroot together, it's fantastic. Alright, so you need the salad to be very colourful um, and also a, a very nice shape. Yes, very mm -hmm. nice shape. Mm -hmm. So, this is the core of this salad. So everybody I know loves this salad. I hope. What? Yes, but <laughs> let's make it um, New Year. Completed product. Herring under the fur coat. Also, the octopus should be complete with New Year snow. Should yes. we try it? Sure. Bon Come on, let's eat. Let's, let's eat some. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the layers in this salad. Now, this is something that I like about the kind of salads that we have here, is these layers in them. And it's very popular, isn't it, to have layered yes, salads? Yes, yes, yes. We've arrived today at a very special event. It's very, very noisy behind me. This is called the Presidential Tree, and it's held all over Kazakhstan. In every city, they have this event at exactly 11 o'clock in the morning. It goes without saying that Santa Claus visits good children everywhere on the planet on Christmas night, but few people outside the CIS are aware of his special helper in this region, his granddaughter, Snegurochka. Looking stunning in her bright spangled blue outfit, she is Santa's faithful companion on his long journeys through the vast expanses of Central Asia. Well, we're coming to the end of our New Year Steptail special, and now I'm at the airport. In about an hour, I'll be on the flight, taking off for London. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Again. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Goodbye.
So that's it. Been through registration, still need to go through passport control, but that's it. I'm on my way to London. It's nice to have a break, but I'll be back next year to show you more of the wonderful sights and cities of Kazakhstan as seen through the eyes of a foreigner in step tales. I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. Bye.